that is a reflection of the personality of the head coach. That's just me. Now, I could be totally wrong because I can think about guys. D would that happen to a hardball coach team? No. Well, let, a let, Bill Parcells let me coach stop. team, a Rex Ryan coach let me, team let me stop. because of the personality. You played mm -hmm. for Bill Parcells. Yes. You played for John yes. Gruden. Yes. You understand? I'm <laughs> Bill Parcells. I mean, when well, you talk about the personality never. of the coaches, <laughs> what would their personality have been on a play like that? Oh, they would have. They would have basically allowed that to happen. I, I could go back to the late Terry Glenn. We played the Cleveland Browns, and Earl Little dove on Terry Glenn after Terry caught the ball, and it's Stephen A. and Max Molly. I was probably 30 yards away, and I saw it. Man, I ran, sprinted, and you know I hauled off and kicked him real good. Now I took points off the board because I got the penalty, but at the end of the day, everybody knew why I did it. Mm -hmm. Because Terry wasn't going to defend itself. He was just laying there. And so... And what would a guy like Parcells tell you after a play like that? Well, he that? just said, you know, that was stupid. You just took points off the board, but I understand why you did it. And that was... And I got it. You know, I understand that. But now when you talk about the team in itself and Mike McCarthy, I said it four weeks ago. I said if the Dallas Cowboys miss the playoffs and they win five or six games, they need to hit the reset button. And I know money is tied up, but if I'm... Five, six billion dollars? What is $20 million? But well, you're saying me? fire McCarthy now? No, I'll wait to the end no, of the no, season. No, 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 no. The end of the season. You, you said, I, I'm, 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 I don't care whether it's not at the end of the season. Yeah, the end of the season. What I'm saying to you is, he is clearly not, not the, the right answer. coach. Not the answer. For this franchise. Not the I'm answer. Not, I want to be clear. I'm not saying that Mike McCarthy can't be a head coach. No, but not the answer for he this franchise. He is not the right coach so what for you this do, team. So what you do if you Jerry Jones and you Stephen Jones and you the, the Jones family is you figure out who is the right guy. Okay, and, and when you hired him, I thought it was a good hire. But head coaches are as good as their assistants. And if you're not, if you, you don't put Mike the right, Nolan, that if, you, if you put yeah. the right Google. assistants together, you can win a whole lot okay. of games. I think, but I think his assistants a guy aren't very like, good. A guy like Jimmy Johnson, what Jerry Jones didn't like is Jimmy Johnson had a big ego and he was taking credit. So watch this. I'll get Barry Switzer. Anyone can win. Yeah, with Jimmy Johnson's team, but yeah. since the end of Jimmy Johnson's Hold team, on. they haven't won. He brings in Bill Parcells. Parcells, big ego, big personality. Started in the right direction, then eventually he soured because Bill was starting to get the credit for get making the, the team credit. over. So what I'm saying is Jerry Jones will make another hire, but he'll make sure one thing is certain. Whoever the hire is, that dude ain't getting credit if they win. It's going to be Hold Jerry who on. gets credit. Let me play devil's advocate for a second to be fair to Mike McCarthy. Dak Prescott did go down. Yes, the offensive so it, line is hurt. And yeah. I understand that the defensive coordinator is not good. I understand they're setting negative records right now. But is it really fair to judge him that he's the issue when they don't have yeah. Dak? But here's, but here's, the team but here's what I would say, Dak? Molly. Here's what, ownership? Here's what I would say, that. Molly. You go back to when Dak was healthy. Exactly. Think about it. When he was healthy. If it wasn't for the Atlanta Falcons... They, was they starting may off only have one yeah. night. They were starting yeah, off 0-4. Yeah. Yeah. If it wasn't yeah, Atlanta, if it wasn't Atlanta and, and if you remember, and if you fair. remember, Molly, the first, right. thing that, the first thing that I said to call out Mike McCarthy was, how do you get the job with the Dallas Cowboys and you hire Mike Nolan as your defensive coordinator well, because when they were the 31st-ranked defense in Atlanta in 2014, and he couldn't get another coordinator be job because until you brought him on, a, on a, a six years later. Because I was your offensive coordinator in San Francisco. That's my point. It's a buddy-buddy deal. And that's Steve. why you got to go. And that's exactly why you got to go. You got to be about production first. But you first. know how the league is, and though, man. that's why man. the league's that's got the, a problem. That's, that's why the league's got a problem. You go hire who you know. You, you who you know, not who's best. And hey. I never understood, if you're the boss, you're the head coach, right? Why am I worried? I mean, you got to answer to me. It ain't the other way around. So I'm going to take the most competent individual because I'm not worried Maybe about the Maybe he thought he was competent. The board no, needs to be more, worried it's about more damning. It's more damning than that. You take who you know because you believe what you know Man, is the right to way to do it. You believe that, so McCarthy's way of doing it, and then they package this, oh, he gets the analytics now thing. Wasn't working in Green Bay with Aaron Rodgers. At it the wasn't end. working at the, at the end, end. right? Because the, the league is constantly evolving. And if you're Belichick or Tomlin or, or, or Andy Reid or someone who can keep up with the times and keep evolving yourself, you can continue to be great. And if you can't, you can't. And McCarthy has not been able to. That's why we're if, in If, that's I, why if I, I was Jerry Nim, I'd blow it up and go get Jim Harbaugh and call it a day. That's just me. Jim Harbaugh? I like him as an NFL coach. I'm just saying. I like him. No. I just like him in the NFL. Well, that was a long time ago. I'm just saying. Keep that was a long time ago. Hey, Steve Lay. I'm just saying. No. No. Right, you, no. I'm 
I'm just saying. A long time ago. Don't look at the eight million, nine million dollar khakis at Michigan. Don't look at no, that. I'm not looking at that. No, just no. it was a long time know, ago. He was a good football a coach ago. though, man. Yeah. yeah, for about three or four years. Oh, then, stop. Yeah, but no, um, they had three or four years at a time, and then maybe there's a little burnout well, with the players. Now, now he can get back, and I'm okay with that three or four years if I'm the Dallas Cowboys. Right. Yeah, yeah. I'm okay with that. It burn out again. <laughs> Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.